somebody, my name is La, for those of you that don't know me. I am the founder of the Jela Foundation. And was it yesterday morning at 6 a.m.? Of course, um, like everybody else, I checked Facebook and saw the news of what's happening in Laos with the flood. By now, unless you're in a cave, um, you would know what's going on in the country of Laos, uh, specifically in Atabu province, which is a southern province in Laos. They had a major catastrophe. A hydroelectric dam project um, kind of collapsed and um, it affected six villages that are now flooded and over 6,000, 7,000 people have now been displaced from their homes and several, uh, let's see, I think they're saying that uh, at least 100 people have died and most of them are children and a couple hundred are still missing. So um, I'm on en route to go to the airport here and go to Laos to, and to see if we can provide aid as a foundation. Um, we have a couple of volunteers from the States, three as a matter of fact besides myself, that just last minute yesterday, which is Wednesday, decided that we needed to do something to help the people. When you hear the cries of the mothers, it's just, you know, it hits home to you because that's the cry of your own mother. That's the cry of you as a mother as well. So, um, and then we have a team of Jalau volunteers that are there locally ready to just um, give a helping hand in any way that we can. And immediately we called for help on Facebook, on um, any social media, and the response have been amazing. Within literally 24 hours, as of right now, I believe we've raised $32,000. And of that money, we are going to buy the supplies needed for the families. There's a long list of supplies. And um, food and water is very basic. And that's been donated by many other people. So we're gonna focus on other things like um, mosquito nets, umbrellas, cooking pots and pans, and th other things. So, so we'll, we'll definitely work with the provincial district and see what their greater needs are for the villagers. And, um, and then uh, Hatachi has donated $2,500. Of that, we are going to allocate all that towards um, transportation because transportation is very expensive in Laos. You're looking at about $1,500 a day sometimes. And we're hoping that we can get donors that will be graciously and generously have Jai Budin to donate their transportation where Jai Lao pays for the gas. And if we have any of that money left over, it all go towards um, the families as well. In addition to giving the family the much needed supplies, we want to be able to give each family um, money, depending on our budget, depending on how, how many families we are, um, you know, supposed to be helping, uh, they'll get like $50, $100 per family. Um, again, depends on the fundings that come in. The more that we receive, the more help that we can give to the families. Um, more families, more money, more supplies that we can do. So it's all up to us how we're going to proceed with this. Lao overseas, we all, all of us have a connection to Laos. And I on behalf of the foundation is asking you, begging you to open up your hearts, open up your wallet, to donate even if it's just $1 to this cause. Um, we, as a matter of fact, we had a $1 donation that came in uh, yesterday and it was the most beautiful $1 sign I had ever seen because it took heart, it took time for this person to do this. Um, whether you donate through Jelau or other organizations, please donate somewhere to someone that you trust that will be able to um, be, you know, reliable enough to, you know, handle the funds. Um, as far as Jai Lao, we like to be in on it and we like to see the impact that the money of our donors and supporters go. So we like to be there on ground zero um, and, 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 and make impact. We will be showing you through visuals, videos, and uh, photography of the things that's happening. As soon as we're able to be there, even when we are purchasing the supplies, we will, you guys will feel like you're right there in Laos with us as we are you know, ongoing doing this project. Again, I wanna just thank you, all of you that have donated, hundreds and hundreds of you have poured in to help donate. It's been unbelievable at how our community have come together 
to help the Lao people. This has really united us and bonded us no matter what country we're from, no matter what um, background we are, whether we're rap artists, rock band, you know, suburban housewives or whatever, I have seen us all come together. It's been magnificent, it's been beautiful, and let's continue this wave of giving. Um, on that note, I got a jet because I have a, a flight to catch. So thanks, you guys. Catch you later in Laos. Back on.